couple of people. It's uh, 23rd of April, 2018. What you're looking at is Google Photos and a small album I've called Ducks in the River because it's got three um, videos about ducks. Now here's the thing, we've had updates a few um, days ago and what you'll notice now is if I select this video, select the second one, he says, there we go, and select the third one, what I can do is create a movie which I'm about to do. Then I'm going to show you the limitations in this app compared with some uh, timeline editing with Cyberlink Power Director. Now what happens is it downloads the clips. Now what you'll notice on a positive side is that I'm on landscape and it shows the little video which I'm about to play. So let me just turn the volume up. So just to repeat, we've had a brand new update for Android Google Photos. It's a white interface that you're looking at and I've made an automatic movie. Let's play it. Just stop a bit because what I'm getting at is that there are three clips and it is about, let's just go to this one, in other words, ducks. That's all I want to say about this at the moment and I'll tell you what I'm trying to do which is create a little story about dogs, uh, dogs, ducks even, in the river. To go on to something different, and when I say different, quite important, is my three clips which are 1 minute 46 long laid end to end it's more important to say what did I have in the first place that is worth showing because asking the Google Photos app to make a movie for you may take away the most important parts so for an example if I looked at this and edited the project again this might be a reason I don't know I'm you know sort of deep sighing and a bit frustrated in that some people do not wish to do extensive editing, they just want to create an automatic clip. But if the app on automation fails, in other words, don't show you the right stuff, you're not going to have a very good video. So for an example, this little clip here is overhead on a bridge with a duck. And there's a beautiful end to this, I'm just going to play it, where the duck comes along and literally just in a second, here we go, here we go, paddles away and exits top of the screen. That is one bit I would like to include. Can you see the way, it's, now that the memory is caught up, it just goes away. Then the next clip is taken from the ducks in the river to demonstrate around and they swim around. Then I do a fast pan to the left and catch up with another two, male and female, mallards, some ducks just swimming around. Then I come to the um, a close-up clip where, and these are quite big um, mallards, they, they, I think they're mallards, I'm not sure what species that is, and you see you've got a, a quite a close-up shot and then you can go along and you go through to the end of the clip. What I'm trying to say is I've got a left-right timeline and if you follow PowerDirector you can do tons with this. So if I wanted to go down and say have this clip at the end uh, sorry, not that one. The uh, the one where yeah here we go the one out of the the swimming, um, where the the duck exits from the top of the screen like that. All I need to do is actually tap on it and edit it and press. I'm not going to do it now. Duplicate and we can get that and maybe add it to the end of the timeline. So let's go back over to Google Photos and. Yeah, look, if you want to learn this thing, you're going to have to hang around a bit and put some energy into it. So what we've got is that automatically, going back to the beginning, we have, let's play this. Just watching top right of screen there with the little white line going through. Automatically, the duck is being stationary because it is the centre of the clip. So if I wanted to, I could go along here and I could say, OK, I want to duplicate that clip. This time I'm going to press and hold and drag it to the very end. So press and hold. And you can see that I can move it down, down, down and leave it. Now at the moment, if I go down right to the end, like that look, and then I go down and tap the fourth clip to play it. Wait. 
So I'm just going to turn the music down a bit. Cause it's... Right, here we go. Just wait. Right, there, there we've got the movement right there. So then I can come down here, drag it into about there. Then this time, if I play from here, we get the duck walking out of the water. We go over to waiting, 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 and depart end of movie. Stop. My argument is to say that having these four um, clips here and duplicating them and looking for various bits and bobs with them, so I can come back down here again, um, and I can hide the trim portion. And you can see the way it's worked there. And then I can come along if I want to, and then I can show the entire video, which is, goodness me, it's that tiny piece there. What I'm getting at is I've got four clips. I'm trying to edit. If I went back and said, look, I'm on the Android platform, but I want to do something a little bit uh, more manual, then I can go over to Power Director. He says, waiting for it to load again. Come on, where are you? There we go. I will do this in real time because if you were doing it at home or with your device, you can see that if I squash down, if I squash down here and I say, OK, I'd, I'd like that, and then I want to um, edit and duplicate and then press and hold and drag to the very end, oop, then all I can do is come in there and I wanted the same clip. I'm, I'm trying to compare and contrast in the old schoolboy way. So there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. And we're just about to exit there, look. So what I need to do is get that and just drag it down. Can you see the difference in the editing? And that is that if I come in through and I can go into, into, into and exit. So that's it really, because the, the last thing, and look, I, I, I'm, I cannot promise any really good answers here because this is a brand new app update and we've got Google Photos automatically create a movie or manually create a movie. These are all the edit tools that we can drag around. There is no left to right timeline, but there is a top to bottom timeline. And then on each clip you have to, rather than drag it around, show entire, hide trimmed, move it up, move it down or drag it, or insert a clip and things like that. You can duplicate them. But then remember going back, which is the other thing, and, and hey, I might be totally wrong here because when I've made a previous video on Google Photos Create a Movie, I was showing the 17 Google themes. So what we've got here, and I'm just going to finish this up because this is again comparing and contrast almost with the past, is that we go on and we can straight away see that the words take a seat in the dead centre are in the app, I can add that title and type in that title. You cannot do that anymore. So then I'm going through um, on this video and I'm selecting every single theme, which is slightly different, that gives a complete different uh, like memory photo type template with these photos that are coming and going. We've lost all of those. There's no point going, we're not gonna get those back. And so if we go on, We've got 17 themes that we do not have now. So look, let's end this video. I can't really apologise for actually trying to be thorough because that's kind of like what I do. I try and figure out how we are, he says. Hold on, there we go. How we are going to work with this Google Photos app. Bearing in mind that most of us, you know, if you're using it, of course, have thousands and thousands of photos and videos. On a future video, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, the next day, it deals with vertical videos and vertical pictures in a the most horrifically bad way at the moment so if you try and insert a photo which is portrait it just chops it off and it also um, does not make a portrait video ready for um, YouTube which is really really bad quite honestly and I, but let's not talk about that because that's a future video how long have I been talking for probably far too long but I'll stop now